Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're looking for the king of the baby bullheads. And here for size comparison, I've got sort of a chunky bullhead with a standard size Arca Swiss plate. And the reason for getting a small bullhead is usually just to save weight. And also they're usually more convenient to use with just one locking knob instead of two or three locking knobs, which are often found on some of the larger ones. This one is a new item, so maybe it will be available soon. And this one from Aputure is not available alone, but it is available with a light. You can also get generic ones that look very similar to this, but I've had some of those and they're not quite as good as this. Uh, one of the main issues is that the uh, bottom piece unscrews from them. Now let's start off with the Joby BH1, which is my favorite, very compact, quick release plate, nice and lightweight. And I wish this had a D-ring, but there was a nice little trick from Caleb from uh, DSLR Video Shooter, where you just screw this in like that with your fingers. And then to get it sort of, get the final sort of locked position, you twist the entire plate and that works pretty well. I do prefer when it's done with a tool because with this trick, it can come out of place in the middle of shooting. It would also really be nice if there was a safety release for this. There's only one button to release this, but that is normally the case with most large Arca Swiss systems. The safety release doesn't really do anything because you can still just undo this another half a turn or two and the plate will still come out even if you don't press this. So there are only a few Arca Swiss systems where you really actually need to press the button in order to release the plate. And this is one of them, the Photon, which I reviewed a while back. And I really like that the Joby is convenient to use. It's just one locking knob, both for the uh, panning and the tilting. And uh, this does have a quarter inch connection with an adapter. So you can use this on three eighths inch. In comparison, the Caclaw has a quarter inch, which is not ideal. The Aputure has a three eighths inch, so that's good. The uh, E-Image has a quarter inch, so that loses out there. And the Lighter has a quarter inch. That is a win for the Aputure and the Joby with the 3.8 inch plus adapter. The Cat Claw is 109 grams. The Aputure is 58, so that's uh, probably the lightest. The E-Image is 146. The Joby is 144. And the Lighter is 140. Five. And we want to also see how easy these are to uh, screw in place. And the uh, two winners here are the Joby that comes with a quick release plate and the E-Image, which has this screw, which I'll show you in a second. And the other three, you just have to, you know, screw the entire thing or turn the entire camera. A neat little alternative to having one of these sort of screws there is you can actually undo the ball bit and then even while this is on a tripod, you just sort of unscrew the ball. So you're, you're turning that entire ball by doing this. And that makes it more convenient. But if the ball head doesn't spin very easily, then it might not be as convenient to do. With this one, it would be doable, but it's kind of iffy. It's kind of getting stuck a bit. And also with the kind that has the thing that can screw up and down, then when you're trying to screw it in, you might end up turning this instead of turning the ball. So it's not ideal. The Lytra is new, so it might get smoother over time, but at the moment, it's definitely not very smooth to move. Next up, we wanna see whether the camera moves at all when you lock it. And this can be an issue with small ball heads and with some big ball heads as well. So here I've got this sort of at a tilted angle just so that it's, um, balanced so that it doesn't fall but uh, here let's lock this in place and you can see that has some significant movement when you lock it if i hold it as i lock it then it's totally fine the elytra also moves a little when you lock it in place but if you hold the uh, camera as you lock it then it's fine and here you can see how easy it is to screw this type of bullhead in place compared to the other one and I like this almost as much as having a quick release plate, but when I'm using something the entire day, having a quick release plate is very, very good. And overall using this is nice and smooth compared to the Lytra. And I'm able to lock it in place nicely without any motion. With the cat claw here, a big, big motion when you uh, lock and unlock it. So I can't make that not happen by holding it in place. It really pulls the camera to the left really hard. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this. With the Aputure, unfortunately, even if I hold it in place, it does 
push the camera to the left and there's not really much I can do about it. Now mostly I use these under the camera but uh, sometimes I would want to attach something on top of the camera and then a ball head is great for that. So these three win for that, the Lytra, E-Image and Aputure. With a lot of the cheap ones that look like this Aputure one, the shoe actually unscrews from it and that is just super super annoying when you're working and your entire thing that's on top of the camera comes loose. A lot of flashes have a pin that goes into the top there and actually locks it in place and all of these, every single thing that goes on a hot shoe that doesn't have a pin is potentially going to get released by accident because if something pushes it left and right a little bit then that screw can sort of come undone a little and then it can fall off the camera or simply get sort of wiggled out same goes for the aperture. If I lock this down nice and tight, then it is able to wiggle out. I don't love this bottom ring on the image. It's a little more difficult to turn than the other two. So that's what I don't like. I would want this to just be one solid piece. However, if you don't want to use this on a hot shoe, then this would work fine. Just get rid of that hot shoe bit and just use this. And again, it is able to be wiggled out. I'm trying with a pair of pliers and I'm not able to unscrew that. So I'm pretty sure that's uh, permanent and not a removable hot shoe. So this is uh, sort of a win, except it doesn't have a 3 8 inch. So that's not ideal. Won't fit onto some tripods. And then this one, I think, is the winner. Here. And these two don't have a hot shoe connection. So I'd say that's a loss for them. So for me, the winner is still the Joby. It's just really nice and comfortable to work with, convenient to use. That's the one I'm going to keep using. I've got two of them and I love them. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you want to support this channel, then you can get yours from the links down below. I will link to all of these if I can find them. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.